Start Infinity, we're the largest independent game developer in Austin, Texas. We're in our 12th year now. We've worked on, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five different Call of Duty games. We've worked on probably almost as many Halo games. And then we, we've also dabbled a little bit in making our own games. Um, of course, we're shifting now to uh, that being the bulk of what we do. One of the things that is our bread and butter at Certain Affinity is CoDev. It's really front to back game development. We're not just about producing assets. We bring design, engineering, production, a whole host of skills together. We can, in many ways, work like a remote arm of another partner. One of the most interesting ones that I personally worked on was uh, the Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare Remastered project a title that is one of the most renowned in gaming. We had to put ourselves in the shoes of, of their fans and we had to see what it was that we could do uh, to represent their expectations and to meet and exceed those expectations with the remaster. The Coda business model has given us um, just an incredible breadth of experience. Th 30 different releases in the history of the company and at least a dozen different franchises that we worked in. Um, Halo, Doom, Call of Duty. And I have incredibly fond memories of playtesting. It got to a point where I was like, I can't wait for us to playtest yeah. again. And then we get into good arguments about the weapon balance. And it was just, it's, it's a really critical part of our process and everyone loves doing it. So uh, Certain Infinity has been incredibly prolific as a result of this code business model. We made a conscious decision that lead development is gonna be the bulk of what we do and co-development will be secondary. Making the transition from co-development work where we're assisting other partners and their properties and their products um, and moving into a realm where we're building our own games, we get all the benefits of learning and growth and experience from working on the biggest brands on the planet but we also then get to direct our passion and energy on our own products. You know, that's a radical shift in what we do. So that, over the past two years, that's really necessitated all kinds of growth as a company. So while we have ambitious growth plans in Austin, we had this idea that we can augment that with additional growth in a second location. We actually did a worldwide search. We really honed in on Canada. And eventually we really took to Toronto. I think we kind of fell in love with it. There, there's a lot culturally that's very similar between Toronto and Austin. Mix of technology and arts actually, which is very appealing to us. It's a, it is a very exciting time to be at CA. I think we're ready for the opportunity, we're ready for the challenge, and it's something that it, it brings you into work every day.